Hello, my name is Crystal Comber, and I'm the CEO of SlipTrade.net. In this presentation, I'm going to explain to you a few basics about Forex trading. And this is a Forex 101 Part 1 um, of the Made Simple series, similar to my Nadex 101 Made Simple series. First, I'd like to start with a disclaimer. You may pause the video and read through the entire disclaimer, but for now, I'm going to read over a small portion of it for you. When trading Nadex, IG, Forex, or binary options, as with any financial asset, there is a possibility that you may sustain a partial or total loss of your investment funds. As a result, it is advised that you should never invest with or trade upon money which you cannot afford to lose through this manner of trading. Trading involves a real risk of loss, and past results do not ensure future results. A brief introduction to Forex. Forex, or Forex Exchange Market, is known as the top place to trade currencies. Because of this, Forex has become one of the largest liquid financial markets in the world. There's over four trillion traded per day in the Forex market, and those are results back from 2013. The best part of all of this is that all of the trading is conducted OTC or over the counter meaning you get to do it in the comfort of your own home. There are many Forex brokers out there, but one question I am asked a lot is who do I personally use and who do I trust? The answer to this is Forex Broker Inc. or FBI, OANDA, excuse me, and FXCM, Forex Capital Markets. My personal favorite is FBI. Forex Broker Inc. is my personal favorite, as I already stated, due to the low deposit minimum, the bonus margin provided, the easy to use web trader platform, the FBI MT4 and MetaTrader 4 platform, the mobile trading platform, awesome technical support, and helpful video tutorials. Trading on FBI. You are given multiple options when trading on FBI. As I stated in the previous slide, one is using their web trader platform. The second is MT4 and MetaTrader 4. And the third is their mobile app. My personal favorite is the web trader on one screen, along with using their MT4 for my chart analysis. The web trader platform is very simple to use. After logging into your demo or live account, you can click on Web Trader and log in to use the platform. The Web Trader Search. To search the Web Trader platform for the currency pair, commodity, or indice, simply type in the first few characters in the upper left hand search field. Multiple options will appear, and you can choose what you'd like to purchase. Or you can type in the full, um, let's say, currency pair Euro USD. You could type in instead of just EUR and have a list, you can type in EUR USD, and it will bring up only that option for you. Placing a market order. To place a market order on the Web Trader platform, Simply choose order instead of pending, which I believe it's defaulted to this anyways. Then type in the amount per pip you would like. Example, $5 per pip would equal 0 0.50. $10 per pip would equal 1.00. Select the direction you would <clears throat> believe that the price will be headed and place the order. Setting your stop loss and take profit. To set your SLMTP in the Web Trader platform after execution, select the open trade and edit. Select the box next to SLMTP. Enter the price at which you'd like to set your SLMTP and then choose update. You do not have to select both. You can select one if you just like to work with a stop loss or if you just like to work with a take profit. 
if you choose the little arrows or you can type in the actual price that you like and then you choose update. Placing a pending order. To place a pending order on the Web Trader platform, simply choose pending instead of order. And you can place a stop or limit order here. A buy stop, sell stop, or a buy limit, sell limit. And these are explained in clear detail in the video tutorials on FBI. So I'm not going to get into these in any of my uh, Made Simple series. Um, they really have some great tutorials there for that. And um, I feel they explain it in, uh, in clear detail for you. The video tutorials on FBI, when logged in, you can view all of the helpful video tutorials under trading tools. So if you scroll down, you'll see trading tools and then learn Forex video tutorials. That's it. If you're interested in learning more trading knowledge, great strategies, joining our online trading academy or checking out our free information, please go to SlickTrade.net and we'll see you there. Now let me show you some examples on my FBI account. When you log in to your Forex Broker Inc. account, okay, you're going to see this screen or a very similar screen, okay? Now, the Forex video tutorials are down here, or you can choose trading, tutor trading tools up here and go to the video tutorials. There's a lot of different areas um, with different knowledge on here. There are all different kinds of uh, things to check out. So feel free to do that. Um, like I said, their support is very friendly. You can call them, uh, you can chat with them 24-7 uh, online. And um, like I said, they're very helpful. So when you do log in, well, first you have your three options here. Let's see, fund your account. Download MetaTrader 4. Like I said, I like I used to use MetaTrader 4 anyways. However, if you download their MetaTrader 4, it's going to be set to their hours. And also, um, you can purchase contracts right on your MetaTrader 4. I prefer to use the web trader to actually purchase my my um, my trades, and I like to use the MetaTrader 4 for my chart analysis, okay? So when you click WebTrader login, it's going to bring you to a screen like this, okay? Now, in the upper left-hand corner, like I said, you'll see the search field. And if you were looking to purchase, um, let's say the EURUSD, you'd start to type in Euro, and it's gonna give you a, a list of options here. You can select your USD there, or you can just type it in fully, and it will come up for you. When you click on it, it's going to bring up your chart. Okay. Now, I like to use MetaTrader 4, like I said, for my analysis. However, these charts are kind of fun to use, and it's good to know how to use them, just so that when you're on your mobile device or vacation or traveling, whatever it is, um, you do still have access to charts. And depending on the strategy that you use, you may or may not need MetaTrader 4 anyways, okay? Um, so it's good to at least uh, get to know it um, and be able to navigate it. Um, here is where you choose the time frame. We're set to 15 minutes right now, 15 minutes per candle, okay? You can choose lines, bars, or candlesticks. It's currently on bars. If you chose candlesticks, it look like that completely up to you, whatever your trading preference is. Here's some different analysis tools that you can use. They're indicators, okay? Um, you can add in your <clears throat> Etchmoj clouds, okay? Um, <clears throat> whatever it is you'd like to add in, okay? I already have a moving average that's on here. 
to remove them. Okay, clear. And then you could add in, let's say you just wanted the um, RSI or relative strength index. You can set it to wherever you'd like here. Usually on RSI, I do uh, 70 and 30. And uh, again, in a period of 14, uh, it's up to you. It's whatever you use, um, whatever you prefer. Okay. And here you can draw in different things. So let's say a line would be like a price level. Say right here. Like that. Or you can, I think they also have a, yeah, horizontal. So you don't have to like actually move it like I just did on the previous one. Okay, it's just whatever uh, whatever tools you you prefer here. Okay. Now you have two options for your orders. You can do a market execution order, or you can do a pending order. Okay. Market execution. All you do is type in the amount. Zero point five zero would be five dollars per bit. And then you choose in the direction that um, you believe price is going. So let's say you believe it's going to sell. All right. Currently it is Sunday at 12.15 and uh, the market is closed. But um, you'd go ahead and, and choose OK and it would, it would um, place your order. And your open positions show up down here. Since I... Uh, use MetaTrader 4 on one of my other screens. I usually keep this up and I, I pull it up because I'm not, I don't use these charts really. Um, so that I can see all of the open orders that I have. Okay. You can also see your pending orders and your closed positions. Okay. By just selecting the little tab. Okay. And let's see here. Like I said, you can place a Pending order, you type in the at price, again the amount, say you want to do $2 per bit, 0 0.20, okay? You can choose to do a buy limit, sell limit, buy stop, and sell stop, okay? So let's say you wanted to do a buy stop. You set your SL and TP here, okay? You, like I said, you can do one or both. One or the other, or both. Okay. The type, at price, and you can set in your expiry as well. Then place the order. I'm not going to get into um, the different types here, the limit orders and stop orders. Okay, because like I said in their video tutorials, they explain everything in great detail for you. Okay. So that's a brief run through of how that works. Also to close an order, you can either close all down here in the lower right hand corner, or you can select a specific order and you can close it out. Okay, to take your profit or to um, take your loss, whichever one it is. And that is about it for the part one. Um, I'll be coming out with some more video tutorials very soon for you. And you all have a great day, okay?